with you guys about something I've been frustrated with today, which is the horn circuit. And uh, this uh, 60 and 61 are one year only horn circuits, so it's a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to talk to you guys about all the different horn circuits that from 62 and later. Um, the 58 to 60 has a different 58 to, or, you know, the f early 50s all the way up to, like, I think 50, 19, 59. Uh, they are the same. But anyway, uh, I don't really have anything to show you those because they're a little bit different because uh, it has a little thing inside the steering column that rubs against something to, to uh, give you a circuit there. You know, uh, so I don't have anything to show you what that's like. But from 62 on up, um, basically, in fact, basically all the horn circuits are mostly the same. Um, so what you have, you have this yellow and uh, black wire goes to your all the time positive. Okay. Goes down through here. Through your grommet, which you notice I have a grommet on there now. I did it before. Um, I just cut them and then put them in. And then it comes down up under, if I can show you guys that, up underneath here, through the firewall here. And then it goes on the other side of your shock tower through a little holder here and then down through this little hole okay and mine was broken which I was really surprised that this side was still had the usually they're both broken <laughs> yeah, this is pretty amazing this car really had some some uh, amazing stuff so this is the painted um, well there it is uh, the the yellow and black wire now that goes down to one side of the horn doesn't really matter which side. The other side, so it's hot right here. So you should be able to check that, and it should be hot. Your yellow and black wire. So your negative, and always use a test light to check your wires. Don't just use a voltmeter. Test light's going to tell you whether you have enough amperage to run a light. Which, um, if you just take it with a voltmeter, it might have volts, but not no amps. So always use a test light. It's much easier. So the negative side goes through back through the firewall and connects let's see if i can get this in a video It'd be really cool i can't see it but there it is see that little uh, wire that's on the steering column that is your negative side so what it does is it energizes the steering column so that if you ground the steering column the horn should blow okay uh so most of the time, the uh, the 62 and later, the steering column is grounded into the shaft as well. So it grounds also into the shaft, to the steering shaft, okay? So I'm showing you guys underneath here and turn this light a little bit. And uh, this is the steering column. Now, here's where it differs on a 61, 60 and 61. If you turn this around, uh, I've been jerking around with this today, so this has been fun. If you see here, here's where the difference is. There is a, I'm trying to see it without the camera, so I can't see it in the camera very good. I think I had it in the right place. There is a grounding strap right here that connects from one side to the other. All the other models you have will not have this grounding strap. Okay, 60 and 61 have the steering column gets energized, but there it's insulated from the shaft. And somehow it, uh, uh, when you blow your horn, when you push the button, it connects the steering, the round, the round tube portion of your steering column to the shaft, okay? 
that's not like any other year. Okay, so if you have a 62 in later, you're gonna have a little wire that's gonna poke out through this hole normally. If you look here, that little groove in the steering shaft, well, is it on it? I mean, I have it on the wrong side. No, I don't. Let's see, here we go. Uh, right here, there. You see that little hole right there? Um, normally you're gonna have a wire that you're gonna have to feed through that little hole all the way up to the horn and then that wire will connect to the uh, opposite side it's really hard to hold this right here on this side of your steering so the wire will loop from here around and connect to the steering box side of of this one of these bolts okay so that this is energized okay when you connect that wire on any other model other than 60 and 61 this thing is energized as soon as you take ground and go from anywhere in the body and go to that post or uh, actually not to that post because you have to connect it up there uh, at your uh, connect that wire well actually no if you go from here to ground it will blow the horn boom done so all that wire does is take this ground and bring it up through the steering shaft so that there's a little wire inside your horn button right here where I'll show you so other than 60 and 61 you'll have a wire that comes up through here. So when I was working on this, I was kind of going, what the hell? How come there's no wire? I can't even fit one up there. Um, so there isn't supposed to be one on this year. So there has to be, and there really isn't any information on this. If somebody has a 60 or 61 and happens to notice this in the next couple of days, um, post a video of your steering wheel off, that'd be great. And then I could know what either I'm missing or what they say to do is get a 62 or later steering column, which I'm sure that's going to be super expensive. Um, or I would say I'm probably going to modify this one to make sure that it's grounded. Drill a hole in the side of there and put a... Um, just like they do in the earlier models, put a uh, something with a spring-loaded thing that will touch the uh, steering column. That'll work. So, because right now, apparently, I haven't checked it yet, but I'm going to check this. This should not be this, you know, this should be isolated from this. Okay, on this year only. Normally, this is all the same as this. There's the bearings and all that all um, make this all, you know, not ground, but it's it's all energized, okay? It goes through your horn, the circuit goes through your horn, back up through here, and energizes right here. So now what you have to do is touch this to ground, and that's what that wire is that goes down the shaft. It's connected to ground, okay? And that's how your horn works. So that's your horn circuit in a real quick, uh, brief moment. Um, if you have a 60 or 61, um, you're pretty much SOL. Um, what I'm going to probably do, what you could do, is you could actually penetrate your steering column and put a spring-loaded connector to touch this, take off the ground strap, underneath and do the and drill that hole a little bit bigger and put a wire up here and connect it to the other and then you would have your horn work the same as the other years now the only thing I haven't got all the information to be able to make sure that that's gonna work but I'm just giving you an idea um, of what you possibly could do if you're in the same predicament I am um, but I don't know for sure exactly if it'll work 
or if what are the issues you might cause with your horn button because I'm not sure if the horn button itself is actually different on 60 and 61 haven't got that far into it I noticed that the later models don't have these contacts this little contact and this little contact not there so like a 66 you know 67 65 it doesn't have that I my 65 did not have this the, the same contact right here right here I, I imagine there's a third one that's supposed to be there too that's not missing so I can make that that's no problem if that was the only issue but generally um, real quick most cars they have I mean not VW's but I'm talking about other cars late model stuff they would have a contact ring right here okay and then they would have a little spring-loaded um, thing here poking out like a little contact sticking out and what that would do is if this was separated circuit from that you know these two were separate then what it would do is give you the switching ability to have a little switch inside here that would operate your horn so that's how they're done on, the, uh, on a lot of other cars um, but not VW usually um, this is very different and I don't see any contact ring in here so and this is the original turn signal switch or unoriginal uh, turn signal switch probably not the original actually in fact it, I know for sure it's not the original turn signal switch because the original turn signal switch was this color and the one that was in the car was white so and I don't think I saw a VW part number in here no uh -uh. I don't see one no nope. so it's definitely an aftermarket switch changed at some point um, I don't even know if they're available right now for 1661 so if you have one of those suckers the six six wire they're pretty rare and if you can find them they're really expensive so hang on to it because if you have a 60 or 61 you, you can take them apart and actually repair them by using other years so anyway uh, that's just where I'm at on the 61 right now and I'm a little bit frustrated with it um, and I just haven't figured out I'm gonna basically now I've got to hook up my wire my hot wire then I'm gonna actually test with my test light or actually probably it'll blow the horn so it'll be pretty easy I'll just ground this thing and see if it blows the horn um, or if it blows the horn when I ground, actually it's not blowing the horn when I have this hooked up so it must be isolated right now so I'd have to check at the turn signal switch where I just had the steering wheel off and actually check um, do you want a jumper wire between say ground here and the outer portion which would be my turn signal switch I believe it still has continuity between the turn signal switch and the steering column if it does then it should blow the horn um, and if it does and it doesn't blow here then I have to figure out hmm what am I gonna do um, and what normally is there because the parts must be obviously missing um, uh, from that so anyway uh, that's the horn circuit uh, if you have any other questions I noticed there's some other guys talking about horn circuit you know the horn on there and uh, they didn't really explain the horn circuit very well. I thought that they kind of missed a few things. Um, and I was kind of, I thought, well, it might be better if we somebody explains it. And there's another course guy who wants to charge you for a video. Um, and I think that if you just monetize your YouTube, you can get paid. You know, why do you need to let the sponsors pay for it? And by the way, you know, if you happen to see something very cool on one of the sponsors things uh, be sure to join to visit their website and uh, patronize because that's who's paying for these videos I mean they give me pennies so it's a very 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 small amount of money um, but it's just I'm doing it mainly mostly for you guys um, but secondarily for my retirement someday hopefully there'll be enough views on these things to give me a few bucks to add to that all right, uh, good luck with your V-dub, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.